Hi, I'm Scott Benjamin. And I'm Ben Bowling. And today we have a very special edition of Car Stuff for you. That's right, Scott. Today we are looking at the 1941 Chrysler Thunderbolt. standing in front of the 1941 Chrysler Thunderbolt. And Ben, this vehicle was touted by Chrysler as being the car of the future. Yeah, and that's not just some snake oil because this car really did have futuristic features that a lot of people wouldn't see in production cars until years afterwards. Scott, it's got these disappearing headlights. I mean, you might not see them because they're currently disappeared. It also has a push button retractable top. That's right, and this car used a lot of modern materials, or modern for 1941 anyways. This car had an aluminum body, with the exception of a hood and a deck lid, which were made out of steel. And it also had one other feature that was pretty interesting. It had a chromium band that went around the entire lower part of the body. Yeah, and this is probably the part where you say, why would someone do that? Well, that chromium band that you're asking about, Ben, is at the bottom of the car there, and that is meant to enhance the appearance of speed. Right, because the Thunderbolt was conceived as a, as a vehicle that would tour around the United States, teaching the general public about the importance of form and aerodynamic design in automobiles. That's right, and you'll notice as you look at the body of the Thunderbolt that it has almost no unnecessary ornamentation except for one item, and that's that jagged Thunderbolt that's on both of the doors. Right, iconic, recognizable. If you are a car enthusiast, then you probably already know about this vehicle. And you already know that we have a pretty, pretty small chance of seeing these in the wild, right? I'd say a very small chance because then you can count this down if you want, but there were eight cars planned. Only five of them were actually built, and of those five, only four are known to exist today. So again, it's very rare that you're going to see one of these in the wild. And for us to even have a chance to stand next to one of these legends of automotive design, we have to thank the private collectors who were kind of playing the long game of car collecting. Uh, back when the Thunderbolts were originally made, they had a chance to purchase one for $6,000. $6,000. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot now, but in 1940 and 1941, that was an awful lot of scratch. Yeah, that was a lot of cheese, or cash. What did they call it back then? Cabbage. Cabbage, it was a lot of cabbage. You guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this video on the Thunderbolt. Uh, check us out at our website, carstuffshow.com. You can also find us on Facebook, iTunes, and Twitter. And please stay tuned because we have more dream cars from the High Museum of Art in our next episode.